So a couple of months ago, I messaged Rode and said to Rode, hello, can I have a microphone to test? And actually they did send me some things. So this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. And from the name of this, you might be able to already guess what it is. But for those of you that haven't guessed, this is a microphone. So it's a wireless microphone. In fact, two wireless transmitters and then a wireless transceiver as well. This just makes it a lot easier now to go out and do audio and make it sound good. And it has no faff of cables and wires and all of that stuff because it's all wireless. And it means that if you want, you can record two people at the exact same time. So if you needed to do interviews, then this is what you need to go and get. Just before we start, this is not a sponsored video from Rode. They've not said that I have to do anything nice in this video. They sent it me and asked me would I make a video, but just to be honest. So this is what the Rode Wireless Go 2 is all about. And you get everything you need for these right in the box. So you can start capturing audio straight away. Of course, you get the two wireless transmitters. So they're the microphones. And then you get the receiver that comes in really handy when you want to record audio to your camera instead of the inbuilt microphones, which you can do with the two wireless transmitters. There's also a little pouch to keep the stuff in as well. And there's some windshields as well to make it a lot easier when you're out and about using the transmitters to make the audio sound just that little bit better. And you get the cable so you can plug the receiver right into the camera and you get three USB-C cables as well. The first thing you'll need to do when you unbox these though is go and download that Rode Central app. And this is like the main hub in the heart of these transmitters and the receiver. So you'll need to use this to make sure you get it working properly. And and you need to update the software for the receivers and the transmitters straight away. If you want to download that, I'll put a link in the description so it is a lot easier for you to download it. But let's start with these microphones and tell you, like, if you've never heard of them before, let me tell you a little bit about them. So this is the second generation of the Rode Wireless Go, and you can pick it up for around about £250. That's probably about the maximum, but you can get it a bit cheaper if you shop around. And if Rode hadn't sent me these, I would have gone and bought these myself, only because I was getting a bit sick of having cables all over the place and you know I've got a good boom mic but sometimes you just want to go out and just make a really easy recording without setting up loads of faff and that is what this does it stops it stops faff because that Rode Central software is the heart of these transmitters and receivers and the microphones I need to tell you a little bit about it because it looks quite daunting when you first have a look at this you can think oh I don't know what to do here but it is really simple so let me show you what it's about so I'll talk to you about the transmitter first of all and you can see that here on the left I have a list of recordings that I've made using this microphone but when you plug yours in yours should be blank and that's just because you've not turned this on yet and you've not made any recordings so what you'll need to do to get started is in the top left, you need to hit that little settings cog wheel and then we can start to change a few things to get you going with your recordings. All this here tells you everything about the transmitter. So you've got things that is battery percentage, you've got onboard time, all the stuff that's really important to make these work. The way I've been using these transmitters and microphones to record audio is I like to record it on the microphone itself because you get that option. And I just like to sync up the audio separately and not record it on the camera that I'm using now. So I just like to do that separately. And that's just kind of personal preference. It's something that I've always done, but you can change this and make sure that you have the recording on the microphone itself. So in the top there, if you select always, that means that every time that the transmitter is turned on, it starts recording immediately. So that means that everything that you say, as soon as you turn that transmitter on, it records until you turn it off again. So everything, so be careful with that. And if that's something you wanna do and sync it up separately like I do, then a bit of a pro tip here, like pro tip is to make sure that you clap sync. So you need to make sure you can do that so you can mark up and match up that audio in editing later on. You also have backup as well. So if you're gonna use the receiver and record your audio directly to the camera, this just means that you have a backup recording on here before you even hit record on the camera. So, you know, the receiver sometimes it might drop out, there might be a problem with it, or you didn't do it properly on the camera. This just means that your whole life and your project isn't ruined if that's the case, because this little microphone has been recording the entire time. And when you choose to record 
with this, you can pick between quality as well. So you get a couple of different options with the audio. So you can save it as broadcast quality that gives you just over seven hours and that's the best quality that you can record in. And then you can do standard quality as well. It gives you way over 35 hours of record time. But I think that broadcast is probably the best because not many people will use seven hours continuously, you know, without deleting some of the files first. So you might as well just go with the best sort of audio that you can get. You also have some other options for the transmitter in this as well. So you can change the brightness of the LED. And at the end there, there is a little road button. So on the transmitter itself, you can see it here. This button, what it does is a couple of different things if you mark it up correctly inside Rode Central. So what you can do is you can add a marker. So when you press it, you can see that in recording. You can use it to mute the recording at any time as well, or you can just leave it to be nothing. And I think probably using it to mark something is the most important thing. So if you're doing a script, you know where you might have started and done something well or you know where you might have flubbed and messed up. So you can hit that little marker and then in audio, you know exactly where that would be. I wanna to talk to you about the range on these as well, but I don't wanna to talk to you about the range here in, in the flat. Let's go outside and I'll show you what it is all about there. Ah, oh, right, okay. So welcome up to uh, the rooftop. So I thought I'd come up and show you what this sounds like when you're outside and you're not just inside a flat. And you can hear that actually, it does sound really good. It doesn't sound too bad at all. But one of the things I wanted to show you up on the roof was the range. So Rode said that you can do 200 meters of the distance between the microphone and the receiver. So down there is about 200 meters. So what I'm gonna do is keep walking and talking to see whether 200 meters actually works or not. So that's plain sight of 200-ish meters, probably more. So I'm going to take a walk and see whether that works or not. And as I keep walking and keep talking, hopefully you should still, at this point, hello, still be able to hear me. And this is one of the best things about this microphone. So if you want to do a piece to camera and you're really far away, you can still do it. So at this point, Hello, I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but I'm probably going even further beyond that 200 meters that Rhodes said that this can do. And it might have already cut out at this point, but who knows? So if I'm at this point right down here, I don't even know if you can still see me or not down here. Hello, don't know at all. But this is the 200 meters or more that Rhodes say that this can do. So if you can still hear me at this point, then it's way beyond that 200 meters. And if you can't, then the 200 meters is exactly that. But I think one of the best things is that this still sounds so good when you're this far away. And that's one of the best things about the Rode Wireless Go 2, is that you can go away, you can do other things, you can do pieces to camera like this, you know, a little bit like you're on the news and just say hello, welcome, all of that type of things. So this is what it can sound like when you're outside on the roof. It sounds really good. This is honestly fantastic. And that whole 200 meters distance works. It's really, really good. Then the last thing with that transmitter or microphone, if you want to call it that, is to export the audio that you've recorded. So you just click on the recording there on the left of which one you want, and then you literally hit export and you click star, and then that audio is fine and ready to use. And earlier I mentioned you can have the receiver and plug it right into the camera. And that is really important. So that is fantastic when you wanna record an interview or more than one person at a time and capture that in body in the camera. So if you're doing an interview, for example, you can get the guest and the host to record at the exact same time. And I've not had chance to record two people at the same time yet. I've not really done any interviews, so had time to do two people at once with this receiver transmitter. But if you are gonna do that, then you'll need to head back into Road Central because there's a couple of things that you can choose and pick that will really help you out when you're doing that. So let's show you what you need to do. And here, obviously, this is the part for the receiver and you can change things like the LED backlight and you know the gain, which by the way, the gain you can change on the receiver as well. So there's a little button there on that where you can press it and it will either take it down a little bit or bring it back up. But 
The most important thing here inside this bit of software is if you're recording two people at the same time is that little mode option. If you have it on merge, what that means is when you're using these, both of them at the same time, it will put it into one audio file. So both people speaking, one audio file. So that means if someone coughs or says a word that they shouldn't or whatever, you can't get rid of it easily. It makes it really difficult. But if you select this button inside Rode Central, you can have it on split. And that means that two separate audio files are created for each person or each microphone, which means then if there is a cough or there's a bad word from one person or someone mumbles something and you know someone's giving a really good answer, that means it's then really easy to cut because it's on a separate track. So you get that, you slice it out, and it means then that the interview sounds a lot better and a lot more professional because you have two people on two separate audio channels. So it's completely up to you on which one you'd want to pick if you're doing an interview, but split is a good safe option. So go with split. That is what the Rode Wireless Go 2 is all about and I love them. I think these are fantastic and you can go and pick them up. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to and they are £250 but you know it might seem like a lot of money but what you can do with it you can record with the transmitter on body, you can record two separate audio channels for interviews, you can merge it, you can record backups, you can do so much with this stuff that it's actually a really nice bit of kit just to add to your vlogging, your YouTubing or actually even for a more of a professional setup it will work really well so let me know in the comments below what you think about these and of course if you've got any questions i'll try and help you out as much as i can as well remember you don't have to buy these the link is in the description for you to do so but i don't make any money from them that's just road raking it all in so go on go and give them a bit of money if you enjoyed the video like it subscribe to the channel as well because that would really help and until next time see you later